Hey Cancer, what's up? How you doing? Remember, this could resonate to you, to a cross watcher, or to a third party. So let's see what's going on with Cancer. I've been having a lot of um spirit guides and past loved ones come through. Um, so if, you, if something comes up, it's you know I have to say it, okay? What is the overall energy between Cancer and their person? What is the overall energy between Cancer and their person? I'm going to do past, present, and uh, what's going on, um, what they want to say to you. What is the overall energy between Cancer? Oh. Ten of Swords. Six of Cups. And the Four of Swords. What happened, Cancer? You had a fallout with somebody from your past? With somebody you were with? This person feels stuck? This person has been thinking a lot about you. There was happy moments. There were, you guys were having a good time. You guys, you know, even talked about marriage, they're telling me here. This person's thinking a lot, has been thinking a lot about you, been dreaming about you. They're depressed because of this that happened with your cancer. I feel like they feel like they messed up with you. And they're really regretting this. And all they could do is think about how could they make things better. Like, even with the card, because I don't really go by the cards. I go by intuition. It's showing. Look how they're laying there. This person. It doesn't have to be a male. It could be male or female. But you know what? Like, you guys were doing good. And for some reason, something happened. I feel like you. there's kids involved here. For some of you, there is kids, kids involved here. And this person is thinking a lot about you. They felt like they did you wrong. They felt like they don't know what to do. They want to speak to you. P, they just told me P, the letter P. could be significant for you. This person wants to come rushing into you and come and talk to you about what happened with you guys. But they're just thinking and thinking about it. They don't know how to approach you. They don't know how to come to you. They think you're going to reject them. They don't even know what to say to you. So whatever this fallout was, I don't know if it was big or something, you know, that sometimes we just take it big and it's just something stupid. But I feel like this person just is just thinking. So they might come off for you. I mean, they come. They might just come talk to you about what happened here, Cancer, because they feel really bad about this. And I'm also picking up, this person was in jail or come, came out of jail or is possibly going to go to jail. Okay? So baby, be very careful with that. Whoever you were dealing with or are dealing with has to be careful that they don't go to jail. Or it could be that they're trapped in their thoughts. It doesn't have to be jail. It could be that they're trapped in their thoughts and they feel like they're locked up. You feel me? But for the most part, just be careful, okay? And warn this person. Even if you're not talking, at least warn this person. Because I feel like they're locked up. They were locked up. It could be in their thoughts. It could be in their mind. It could be in their thinking. It could be in their process of what they're going through. It could be that they're caged up somewhere and they feel like they're caged up at home. But I feel like it's mostly like they were locked up. They were basically in jail or they're going to go to jail. So I don't know Or there could be a restraining order in place. Just take, take it how it resonates. And if you're not talking to this person, warn this person at least. Even if you don't talk to this person, call this person up and warn them. Okay, because, you know, nobody should go to jail unless they did something real crazy. Like, 
you know, pedophiling or they kill somebody innocently, things like that. But I don't believe in other things. Nobody should be in jail. All right. So just warn this person. Okay. Because it's not for you. This is for the person you were dealing with. Or it could be somebody from your past that you ain't even dealing with. But I feel like this person wasn't. There's kids involved. So this might be maybe a marriage that ended up bad. It could be that too. And this person went to jail. Because I see kids. There might be a restraining order in place. And this person is going to break the restraining order. Just take it how it resonates. But I see, I see jail here for this person. This person is thinking a lot about you. Or maybe they are in jail. And they're just thinking a lot about you. Because they can't get you out of their head cancer. It's like they're thinking about you day and night. They can't do anything but think about you. They're laying down a lot. I see a church. Somebody didn't go to church or somebody goes to church. And prays a lot. They keep on telling me the letter P. I don't know what the letter P means, but they said it again. The letter P. So take it how it resonates. The letter P. Yeah, it was a big problem here. And the Eight of Wands came out in reverse. I don't really read the cards. I'm re I'm hearing what they're telling me. There was a big problem here. It was a male and a female. Yeah, it was. They're right next to each other. Look at this. Look at this. They were right. Ne they're right next to each other. Look. I'm gonna show you. Cause I don't really read the cards like this, but look. You got. The Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords, female and male. I don't know if you can see it, but look at them together right there. Cancer, I don't know what happened, but what you're going through right now is like, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear from this person. You feel like they deceived you or something happened. You don't want to hear from this person. You're really, 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 really upset with this person. You're not even trying to hear it, but you are because you love this person. Whenever this person comes and reaches out to you, you are going to talk to this person. But let me tell you.